The Gulfstream 5 came in 2005, so it's still fairly new, and it was several years after that that it entered full service. Aircraft are a very important part of this lower atmospheric observing facilities because they provide unique capabilities to the scientists that are otherwise would not be available. The National Science Foundation G5 is a high altitude platform, a high speed platform, at a very long range. It, it is capable of reaching Hawaii from Alaska in one flight doing uh, vertical profiling all the way along. And that opens up to the community studies of the upper troposphere, lower stratosphere, a range of problems that we couldn't study before. They include studies of atmospheric chemistry, formation of hurricanes, the global carbon cycle. The instruments for this plane are special. There's a lot of trace gas measurements. There's some remote sensors, remote sensors for temperature and a LIDAR. There are a number of cloud physics probes. Users who want to use these instruments have access to them and in many cases have access to the people who built them who will assist them in the, the studies. The National Science Foundation offers the opportunity to a wider community of scientists to participate and to test their own ideas, scientific ideas, uh, with the use of uh, lower atmospheric observing facilities that NSF provides.